Seriously, Aussies make me laugh so much. You guys are choosing where you vote based on where they are doing democracy sausages. <laughs> it was a uh, brisk autumn morning. I was on my way to cover one of the biggest stories of my journalistic career, sausage sizzles. You guys are obsessed. Today's a big day for me. Today I uncover the little known origin of Australia's democracy sausage. Mm. I'm just gonna do a quick, uh, a quick prediction or my opinion straight away. I reckon to do DIY at home, you need the bribe of a sausage, a snag uh, at Bunnings to vote. I know it's mandatory obviously, but you need a sausage to get you there. You are so lazy. <laughs> You're so lazy that you need a sausage to get you anywhere. <laughs> An Aussie icon, an election day essential, a cooked cylinder of minced meat beautifully caressed by a slice of white bread. Delish. But where did it all start? Sausages have been around for thousands of years and have appeared in just about every culture in some way or another, from ancient Greece to China and Italy. But what about the Aussie snag? Where did you come from? The butcher? Yeah, but before that? Oh, probably Germany. Oh. That does look like a really rubbish sausage though. I want some herbs and spices in it. Oh, true. In the 1800s, the Germans brought with them their famous sausages, like Frankfurt's, Bratwurst, Rinswurst, Knackwurst and Bockwurst. All the best worsts. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Brits introduced us to thick Cumberland sausage mm. and the thin English breakfast sausage. I love a Cumberland. But despite all that, it was a long time before the sausage was seen as a typically Aussie cuisine. And the sausage sizzle made its way into school sports days, fundraisers, hardware stores, and of course, elections. The very first election sausage sizzle is thought to have been held in 1940. I just don't get the link. Why would anyone think of of doing a more or less a crappy barbecue, no offence if you really love it, but a crappy barbecue at an election, at you know, polling stations? I, I just don't understand where the link came from. Maybe they will show me, but I'm struggling at the moment. Changing voting days forever. It makes sense, really. Australia Does is it? one of the few countries with compulsory voting, which means there are lots of people turning up to vote, and sausages are a cheap and easy way to keep them full and happy. Over the years, the democracy sausage became a full-on Aussie institution, with plenty of leaders getting involved, either behind the barbie or chowing down on them. Although sausage sizzles can be scandalous. And no, not just because of the way politicians eat them. Nothing barbecue, nothing like it. In 1989, the Western Australian Premier, Peter Dowding, was accused of bribing voters with free sausages. <laughs> Mr Dowding then accused the opposition of providing unsolicited sausages to would-be voters. Believe it or not, there was an investigation, which eventually found that providing free snags was not actually considered political bribery. You've got to be very weak-willed to be bribed with a sausage to vote in a certain way, right? I, I maybe, I actually, I, to be fair, I bet there are a few people that, because you're forced to vote, that really don't care and, you know, ah, have free sausage if you vote for us. Maybe it works, I don't know. But surely most people aren't that weak-willed. Turns out it takes a lot more than a sausage to snag votes. And despite which side voters sit on, or whether it's a sausage, a veggie sausage, or not a sausage at all, most Aussies can agree that elections just wouldn't be the same without this sizzling Australian tradition. I'm Jack Evans, BTN News. <laughs> it's, it's 
ridiculous. Is that I'm just imagining this happening in the UK. Bear in mind uh, when you vote. It's, you know, you're in and out as quickly as possible. There is very rarely a queue whenever I go and vote anyway. So the thought of having to stay longer for a sausage, no. I, I just want to be in and out, get home. Um, I, what I did find funny is in the comments uh, of the, the recent video about the your voting system that I've learned something new... Um, the preferential voting system, I think it was called. Uh, so many people have told me they are really disappointed because the location they went to was not doing a democracy sausage. <laughs> and I also had comments of saying, I had someone saying, this may be you if you watch this. I had someone saying uh, there was a few a few yards down the road and there was no democracy sausage or they go 1.5 kilometers down the road and there is a democracy sausage which to choose from it's just oh man the stuff that comes from your country is absolutely mental so funny i don't think it'd work over here if i'm honest as i said we want to be in and out as quickly as possible well the elections are done we can go on to something different now right thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will catch you next time get a sausage down your neck